What are we even doing here? It's fish wife time. Slow smoked mackerel with chili flakes. Yeah, yeah, this is hot on the heels of our previous fish wife review. You got mail. They sent out an email that came, I swear, as soon as I finished uploading the previous video. Yeah, we've got new mackerel, new mackerel, you don't say. Well, I'm highly suggestible, so I bought it immediately and it came pretty quick. Here it is. Uh huh. I gotta say, um, okay, the box. This is what we kind of expect from Fishwife. It looks the way it looks, but gosh, the texture of this box is really something. It is really something I've not felt on a sardine box. It's like it's like when you buy a fancy pair of headphones and they come in a box and they really want you to know that this is a nice time. And um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this stuff this stuff is expensive for what it is, and I can't control what people charge, and I can't control what people pay. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. And the first thing to really, really know about this stuff, mackerel, olive oil, demerara, sugar, salt, crushed chili, garlic, sounds good. Product of Scotland. This was pointed out to me, uh, a lot of people, when I did the gold seal, they're like, hey guys, I think that this new fishwife mackerel is the same stuff that's in the gold uh, seal tins and I'm inclined to go along with that theory, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll be the judge, you know? I didn't want to go too long after the gold seal mackerel review to, uh, to look at this stuff because, you know, I don't know. I wanted to make sure the comparison made sense. Voila. Looks pretty good. Looks very good. Got a big, big piece and kind of a skinnier piece, huh? Got my fishwife tongs here with me because I'm gonna use those to get them out of here. And then I have a feeling that we're gonna go mono a mono or rather hand to fin against these mackerel, right? Oh, that was delicious, y'all. That was really delicious. Look at this big skin, huh? So yeah, I could go along with the theory that this was from the same cannery as um, the gold seal product but I only ate that one can of gold seal. So I don't know, there's a little bit of variance here. It's very tender, but it also has that kind of, um, kind of jerky resistance that you get from smoked stuff. And um, I don't know, it, it, it does seem different from the gold seal gin and tonics. And um, I don't know if that's due to just, hey, it's different fish. Hey guys, it's really a different cannery. Or, um, you know, are these ingredients kind of working on this fish differently? Really, really dynamite texture. Really, really fun and different. I don't know, man. I don't, I mean, I don't think this is, I don't think this is the same stuff as the gold seal. Wow, this fish, really, really, really great texture. Kind of, yeah, smoky, doing its thing, but not stiff, not dry, at least on par with the, uh, the gold seal. I mean, this is, this, this altogether could be two to three times the price. Um, but it's different, you know, it's different. And from here, I silently enjoyed the last piece of mackerel, seemingly forgetting about the camera 
and canned fish files and YouTube. But you know what I didn't forget? Yes, how grateful I am for my Patreon supporters. Uh-huh, yes, supporters like Dean's Listers, Justin Sheffield, and The Anomaly, and fishy freaks like Dan Goodwin, Tom K, and You're Not a Fish. Thanks again. Back to the show. You guys, that was great. That was amazing. I think that was my favorite fishwife tin so far. Yeah. Is any can of mackerel worth more than $10? Price is highly subjective. This has a pretty box and you can kind of show up to somebody's house and say, hey, I brought this and their wife goes, ooh. He makes it sound sinister. It's not. She's right, okay. How much does that cost to make somebody go, ooh, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It shouldn't cost more than $10, but maybe it does. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.